Alright, this is a pretty big deal right here, right? It is my fourth ever rank 3 7 star character, and it was a tough one. It was a tough choice because I think all three of these characters are phenomenal. Like, they all have their reasons as well. Titania, because she is like the best science champion in the game right now. Uh, Guardian, because he is just such a fun champion. And he also hard counters Domino, who is like the bane of my existence. So, like, he had a pretty big use there. And then there's Gladiator, where, you know, I think this champion, there is a lot to discover with him, and he's already proven to be very, very good already, but I want to see just how powerful he can actually get when he's, like, at the highest rank. And I think he's going to be good for, like, any tech defenders, and, like, honestly, for most meta defenders, I feel like he'll do pretty decent. And, you know, we just don't know that level of a 7-star rank 3 gladiator just yet. And I want to kind of just, you know, test the waters. I want to see what exactly that looks like. Because this buff has been insane for him. And, like, I just, I just know there's something there that's going to be really, really awesome. So, yeah, the choice was tough. All three of these champions are fantastic. Of course, some are, like, more for meta or more for fun. But... I think the choice is kind of obvious when a champion not only is meta, or can be meta, but also is a ton of fun. So let's take up Gladiator. Now I'll be honest, I was kind of like dead set on this champion from the get-go because like everything about this character I just love, right? I love his idea of building off of confidence, I love how like, you know, design-wise he just really matches that because whenever he has like over 20 confidence, he like you know looks a lot cooler right so it's like okay this character is just so awesome and i like the journey of him being like this really trashed on character because i'll be honest he was pretty bad when like he first came out but now he's just like this super incredible character to be honest and yeah i just I, lo I love Gladiator, right? I think he's one of the coolest characters in this game he reminds me of of course superman who i honestly am a big fan of so it's just like, okay, this is one of the rare cases where I just love everything about this champion. Like when it comes to the design of the character, the play style, just the backstory, everything about this character I just really, really love. So it's like, yeah, I, I had to do this. It only made sense. But um, I go a bit further beyond what most people would do when it comes to rank 3 gladiator but you'll see that in a second but here are the final levels for gladiator just gonna pick them up real quick and yeah it is about to be showtime uh but yeah we're not done here just yet and by the way that was i was one off that's so annoying it is what it is uh i get one right there that's all i need and here's a rank 3 level 45 gladiator but yeah, like I said, we're not going to stop there just yet. We got one more thing to do. We have to do one more thing, and it might be crazy, but I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. So we're going to go to Champion Info. There is Sig 20 Gladiator. Then we're going to press Use Items real quick. But first, I want to see the Vigilance Duration, because uh, right now it is, what, 4.58 seconds? And we're going to see what it goes to after we put our 10 X Magica Sigs. Uh, hopefully like a bit of an increase right which is expected but let's actually just say screw it let's go even further beyond as gladiator would say and let's take him all the way to not just sig 40 but to sig 50. we're going all in on this champion right here and i'll take that seven second vigilance duration that's honestly really really good but um yeah there we go rank 3 sig 50 gladiator now let's see what's up with him though right you know we got we got him leveled up now it's time for the gameplay and i'm gonna hold back in this gameplay video because i want to do a full massive showcase obviously it's one of my rank 3 characters but yeah gladiator just you know drop your heavy attack build up your confidence by hitting into the intimidate and once you do that you'll have you know a lot of confidence built up and he's gonna do some pretty nutty damage which is expected so there we go in a nice twenty five thousand plus burst damage then we go back in drop a heavy attack into the sp2 a nice 
26,000 crit, some massive crits there, go back in again, some more burst damage, and yeah, this man is getting destroyed right now. There's some more burst damage, and here is a nice 37,000 heavy attack. And that was about, what, 30-something seconds? Not too shabby in the slightest. But let's keep it going, because with Gladiator here, of course not every fight's going to be the same, right? Because uh, I'll admit it, as a rank 3 Gladiator owner, sometimes the intimidate is a bit inconsistent right and sometimes it slows down the fight sometimes it makes it go faster it's just like hard to tell but i'll be honest there is like worse rng problems with other champions looking at you domino and archangel but um yeah like it's not even that bad with gladiator you still do some pretty nutty damage regardless and yeah here i dropped the sp2 no crit but it's fine and yeah still some pretty solid damage output there so we go back in and just want to you know utilize our special attack punishing burst damage i guess that's what you call it and yeah here i dropped the sp1 a nice 21,000 crit and like right here she's just not playing ball right but it's fine because the dot is just doing its job and there we go that was like what 40 something seconds still pretty impressive overall but now it's time to go beyond that right let's check out how he does against this 1.5 million health fight and here we have um his charges ramped up so gladiator whenever he's awakened has this ability where if he finishes a fight above a certain health threshold he gets some bonus confidence charges that stack up to eight so he can get up to 33 confidence in a fight but with the sp3 he actually does increase it to 37 but that's honestly just overkill at that point so yeah i don't bother with it however it is there for like i guess future i guess like just to know right but um yeah here i go in get my uh confidence going get my damage output going we're doing 16,000 mediums already go back in drop the heavy attack into the sp2 and no crit there but it's fine some nice 15,000 crits there though which is perfect and yeah even if gladiator doesn't crit the dot is still very very solid and yeah like that's kind of his majority DPS. It really depends on the fight, however, because in some cases it can be like the special attack punish damage. It really just does depend. But like in this scenario where the special attack doesn't have that many hits to punish, it's all about the DOT. And it is just doing some numbers on this Marvel. And then we go back in here and that's the end of the fight. And that was about what, a minute and 26 seconds for Miss Marvel. Not too shabby in the slightest. And now let's go even further beyond here with this Abyss Iron Man fight. Now, as you can see, I added the White Tiger synergy here, and this synergy, it, it's just kind of broken for Gladiator. Um, here's like a sneak peek of it. I want to make a like a whole video on it because yeah, it is some wild stuff. But so you want to drop your heavy attack right, like when they're cornered, and that'll just supercharge your damage output. But here we have to build up confidence first, of course, because it's Gladiator, that's just like his thing. So yeah, we go back in here in a second, then we drop our heavy attack, drop it again, and look at this burst damage, right? The DOT as well is ticking for some crazy numbers, like 1267, that is wildly impressive. And he's already starting to melt, and keep in mind, this is a 2.6 million health Iron Man Infinity War he is a chunker and a half right he is a massive massive iron man so here we go in and yeah he drops the sp2 no big deal and we just block it which we can do pretty easily because gladiator when he's built up has a ton of armor up and yeah a 47,000 crit right there uh sure why not <laughs> why not just have a 47,000 crit and this is just a very very fun matchup so far and i forgot to mention but yeah what i said about the armor up so gladiator's confidence not only increases attack rating but also his armor up rating so that is crazy because it has a five percent potency so if like diminishing returns aren't a thing he would have 125 percent armor rating which is honestly insane but uh yeah here we go back in and this is just it's so satisfying right like he is just destroying this iron man here uh, here he drops the sp2 no big deal i go in for some extra damage and yeah i play it safe here but i didn't like i didn't play this to like the best capacity right but it doesn't matter because he's still crushing this fight with the dot and everything so it's like does it really matter 
I guess not, but yeah, it could have been faster, which is crazy to think about. But um, anyways, he's down to his 15% phase. Uh, but as you can see, he has no armor ups. And why is that? Because of Gladiator's Vigilance, which just completely shuts them off. It is such a good ability for like Iron Man and like for Shuri, uh, for future Ant-Man as well. And that's the end of the fight. Just such a clean fight overall. Uh, yeah, two minutes for 2.6 million health. You'll love to see it. Now we have Gauntlet Doom here and this is just, it's so goofy. Now Gladiator has plus 200% ability accuracy when it comes to his buffs, so the glancing that Dr. Doom has actually fails. So he still gets the confidence buffs, and yeah, it's just super super strong, for like Maestro 2 especially. Uh, yeah, like this man has so many different tricks up his sleeve, and that's why I feel like he's such a cool cosmic character. Because while he isn't like, you know, a flashy one, he still does things really well, and his combined damage output is pretty dang decent too. So yeah, here we go back in, and we're just trying to play it a bit cautious here, trying to get the intercepts to avoid the glancing damage, but like I said, if we glance, it doesn't really matter. So here I dropped the SP2, and here is where the main source of damage comes from, for this fight at least. And also like the physical burst damage, also pretty insane for this fight. Because yeah, Doctor Doom has like this point in time where he just like pauses on the SP2, and that is perfect for Gladiator to just go in and just get that damage output going. So yeah, it's a very very fun fight for that reason especially. But yeah, here we drop a combo into the intercept, into a heavy attack, then we drop the SP2, do some nice damage there, and this matchup is as good as over. Uh, yeah, that burst damage is just so, so powerful. Get the intercept, let the incinerates do the work, and we are chilling. Overall, very fun fight, and Gladiator just crushed it completely. Now to end it off here, I have this Winter of Woes Aegon fight. Now Gladiator can actually take all but one fight in the entire quest, which is, you know, pretty sweet. It just goes to show like how versatile this champion is. And yeah, this fight is super fun because with Gladiator, um, if like Aegon hits your block, you're kind of screwed. However, since Gladiator has that heavy attack stun, he is really, really good for this fight because you don't have to parry at all. Pretty much everything about Gladiator, whether it's like his rotation or his damage output, it, it all is like based around things that just don't involve parrying or blocking at all. So yeah, it's really, really good. And that's why he's super good for this fight too. And yeah, nice 24,000 crit there. You'll love to see it. Go back in on that free burst damage and it's already such a clean fight, you know? And it's just Gladiator things. He's just simply so efficient for this fight. And yeah, he's gonna drop the SP2 again, and we go back in on that second hit, get that bonus damage, go back in afterwards, drop a heavy attack into the SP2, and yeah, some more pretty nice damage here. And he's just, yeah, he's just so reliable for it, right? And I love that he doesn't rely on like debuffs anymore because the Intimidate is a passive, uh, the stun is a passive as well. So like he is really safe for these fights. For example, uh, this Aegon here has clean slate as well, but since his stun is a passive, he just doesn't care. And yeah, some more heavy attacks, another SP2 right here, no crit but it's fine because the burst damage and the DOT is just doing more than enough right now. But now it's gone so I guess never mind, but it doesn't matter, we're still chilling. Uh, here he drops the SP1, no big deal, go back in, drop a heavy attack right on time, and yeah, drop the SP1 myself. And there we go, go back in for a combo into a heavy attack and this should do it. Well, I lied. But that does it, so there we go. Uh, not too bad. Under a minute, you love to see it. That was like a million health, by the way, so yeah, pretty dang impressive from Gladiator. And yeah, he's just a beast, right? He's really fun to play, he is such a cool character, and now that he's buffed, he's actually just super efficient as well, and just super versatile. So yeah, I love this character. I am glad that he is one of my rank threes now, and he's actually the top of my profile, so that's even better. But let me your thoughts on Gladiator, and yes, yeah, about it for me.